Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to today's Life After Her podcast with yours truly, Nicole and Sweeney. We are on episode number 33 entitled, When It Rained, It Pours. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast episode. I am so excited that we are on episode number 33 already. We have been going through each and every chapter of life at the hurt. And let me tell y'all, the story gets juicy. Now, before I go into today's episode, you not if you have not watched or listened to last week's episode entitled Secrets and Confusion, you want to go back and watch that before you complete today's episode. Last week we find out some crazy news that happened between Journey and and Gracie as well as Case. Mama Black passes away and Journey during this episode, Journey is left on the outskirts of something between Case and Gracie. Today's episode, the Black family goes through another trial. They actually received a notice in the mail saying that the house that they are currently living in is being foreclosed and they have to move out. The Black family had no idea that the landlord Miss Pearl was not making payments on the home, which would lead them to having to move out the house that they love, the house that God had blessed them with, the house that felt like home for them. All of the myths of Mama Black not being around any longer. So eventually the house was no longer operative. And what I mean by not operative is that they had no running water, they had no heat, and it was so cold outside that there was no way that they could remain living at 83 Believer Street. And the Black family didn't have any money saved up or anything to just up and move So they found themselves in yet another tragic situation. So what happened? The Black family had to split up as a family, which they hardly ever done, but they had to split up. So where did everyone go? You're wondering. I'm sure that you asked that. I'm going to tell you. Papa Black went to Uncle Floyd's house, which was his uncle, Maven, since he was the only boy, he went to Big Nate's house, which was the Black family's cousin, and Nate and Maven were so close, and they were like brothers, and the the Black sisters, Journey and her sisters, they went to the Blue Stones family, the family from the church, Grace and Mercy Baptist Church. Yeah, they went to stay with them. So the Black family was split up. Mind you, each and every one of Journey and her siblings were either in college or in high school. So it was so difficult for them in this transition with trying to stay in school. Not only that, Journey had experienced probably one of the worst relationship confusions and betrayal that she had ever experienced in life. And she was young and did not know how to maneuver. So what did Journey do? She continued on with her life the best way she knew how. She didn't have the answers. She really didn't have anyone to give her advice on what she should do. It was just journey and God. And journey, again, she did not know what to do. So like I said, she continued on with life the best way she knew how. So that is all I am going to share with you all today during episode number three, 33, entitled, When It Rains, It 
Fours. So make sure you guys go purchase a copy of Life After Her so that you can know what's going on. And today's affirmation is you don't need to know everything or have everything figured out when God is shepherding you. Let me repeat that again. You don't need to have everything figured out when God is shepherding you. You will not have all the answers or the solutions to your problems, to your situation, to your circumstances, to the things that you go through in life. But continue walking with God and he will eventually lead you to the answer. Stop putting so much pressure on yourself to have everything figured out, to feel like you need to have all the answers all the time. Life just doesn't work that way. Life is not always going to give you the answers. Sometimes God wants to step into our situation so that he can show us what he wants us to do. And God will not always give us the answers in the time that we want them or that we need them, right? Because sometimes things are urgent. But like I said earlier, when God is shepherding us, when he's leading us, he will show us the way we should go and the answers that we need. So stay encouraged. Know that God is walking with you on your own personal journey and whatever answers you need, he will reveal them to you. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in next Wednesday to hear about what happens in episode number 34. Have a great day, a great morning, and a great evening. And remember that God is proud of you. Bye.